All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, a Twitter user had earlier taken to the comment section of a post by Abike Dabri, right, mm -hmm. on the recent happenings regarding Nigerian student at GD Gonka University in India um, to call her out over the ill treatment meted out on Nigerians in Indonesia. Now, the Twitter user further berated the NITCOM boss um, for being part of the present administration, which he described as a failure. She should go to Indonesia and see how Nigerians are being treated. Mumu woman supporting a failed government. That was what the person said. She equally, uh, she's equally part of the failure. I service. He then, that was his tweet, right? Now, this tweet seemed not to have gone well with Abike Dabri, who fired back at the individual and called him Ode, <laughs> who is, which is another Nigerian slang used to describe a fool. Now, Ode. You go, that's, let me quote her. She said, or day. You go to Indonesia, carry drugs, do cultism, and come begging to be rescued from death sentence. Thank God for the NDLEA, right? Now saving people like you from death row. Now the Nikon boss's response to the troll had, however, continued to generate mixed reactions from all Twitter um, users. While some berated her for using such language, saying a diplomat like her shouldn't have responded in that manner. Others are full of praise for the NITCOM boss. Now, a former Minister of Education in Nigeria, Obi Ezekwesili, who retweeted the post, described it as messy and asked her to clean it up. Dear Abike, um, at Abike Dabri, what is this? Kai, this is messy. Please clean it up quickly. Please Responding to now, that's what she, she quoted, because I'm reading everybody's quotes, small, small. <laughs> now, responding to the former Minister of Education, and because Dabri then said, um, is not the, said is not the type of public holder that succumbs, that she's not the type of public holder that succumbs to online bullying and won't clean up the post. She added that if it was okay for the guy to refer to her as Mumu, there should not be a problem if she returned the favor and insulted the guy calling him or there. Now, today, <laughs> we're addressing this situation and we're asking, right, was her reaction to the troll on social media necessary, right? How do you see that reaction? We all know that mm -hmm. internet never forgets anything, especially when it comes to hate speeches. So we're asking, should her position have influenced her response, right? That's the conversation for tonight. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember... You can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow, Africa, one with hashtag Wayshow. Who is your day here? <laughs> He's going to respond to me. Um, okay, so. This thing, eh? I wish Inoma was here. Inoma was supposed to join us on, 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 on social, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Online. I don't know if she's there. But you see, there's something she's always saying about consideration, right? That um, sometimes you must always put yourself at the, the next person's shoes, right? So this habit of always going online, because I've had my own fair share. For me, I'm very, you see, let me tell you something. How I respond to things like this, honestly speaking, you can't catch me. Because I am blind, I am deaf, I'm dumb. I don't even bother like I see it. I see it, I just move past. In fact, some people delete the tweet. I don't even delete the tweet. I just leave it there, continue. You know your, your, your finger that you used to type it? Uh -huh, you'll be okay. I you know what pains them the most when you don't respond, right? So, I mean, so I don't understand why somebody in Abikez Dabri's status sees that kind of a tweet, right? And says, no, she's bold enough. I'll be watching the column. She does not cower. That's not cowardice, right? Sometimes silence is the best response yeah. to things like this. But hey, who am I to judge? Because I don't know the kind of one that I will, they will insult me that I will meet to tomorrow. My, my brain will touch. <laughs> but hey, let me hear your thoughts, ladies. What were your, what were your, your initial like, response or, or reaction when you saw that back and forth going on on social media today? Let me come to you, Chinelo. Okay, so first I was like, ah, Abba, why did you have to call him all day? You know, but then I thought about it again. He called her Momo first, mm -hmm. now. So that was probably like her, what they call that thing, reflex, mm. you know. But then let's go back 
to we know okay maybe i shouldn't put it that way but i i think abke is a very outspoken human being so i'm guessing that's why she actually reacted in the manner that she did but then also i saw it's with someone responding and said something about stereotyping why did you have to bring in carrying drugs because he lives in indonesia i don't think that was right so i think that's where she actually messed up completely it's okay if she had just responded to him and you know said whatever she said and then moved on but then now it was very clear that she was out to you know deal with the guy because even after obviously quickly reached out and said you know clean up the mess she said what mess are you talking about and, i mean i read that in her voice and in mm-hmm. his voice as well what mess are you talking about this person when he was calling mumu where were you didn't you hear that mm-hmm. and then she didn't stop at that and not be decided okay you know what your choice go ahead and do whatever it is you want you want to do and she still went ahead and responded again and i'm like sister be care don't you have work to do hmm. what's happening so you know i i have mixed feelings about it in the first place the guy shouldn't have there are so many cyber bullies out there he shouldn't have said that to her right? but i think that was also that's also coming from what had happened um, not too long ago with i think it was in Kenya or Kangura or something like that something had happened in the secondary school or something and had tweet about that wasn't particularly nice so i think it was all of the grudges that people have held from that tweet that made the, made that guy respond her that way but all in all you're a diplomat sometimes hold your peace it's not sometimes <laughs> all the time all the time hold your peace you know that saying that they say that if a king right is seated and a scorpion walks um mm. crawls, crawls into in. his shoes even with this thing, you go you sit down there just... quiet. You you act like nothing has happened uh. because I, I don't I don't understand why somebody in your position of leadership, right? Now somebody will be questioning me that why oh, she not allowed to vent? No, you are not allowed to vent. People have called me all sorts of names. I just keep quiet and I move on. You know, yeah. these things really nothing means anything except the meaning you give to it. So you are the one that has given a meaning to it that you have said that okay, this thing is an insult to me. You call me Mumu. It's for your pocket. You call me all day. It's for your pocket. But let me hear your thoughts, NJ. <laughs> I'll come to um, you, Mary. Well, that that you know that statement you made a few seconds ago is very apt. Nothing, nothing has any meaning apart from the meaning you give it. Meaning, um, things are important as you take it. So whatever you make important, if the insults you make, if you personalize it, then it becomes. That's why she went personal on him because I'm sure. Over the course of her work with government, I'm sure that she has been called a lot more than this. Yes. I'm sure she has been represented in more negative ways than this. So why this? So, um, and another thing is that I understand from the part, from a human angle, that sometimes people say things and you're probably having a bad day or it just rubs you off the wrong way. But one of the most important etiquettes of social media, of handling you know being a part of social media and actually using social media is you have to think before you post um a back and forth conversation like this between an ordinary nigerian i'm sorry to say uh, or someone who on a regular day would be inconsequential to her life Mm -hmm. and her progress and having that back and forth based on her state looking back at her status you wonder it makes you wonder a lot of things um uh, I saw one of the comments and someone said um, we're running a country of, I think that like this is an animal farm and we're yes. being ruled by animals. <laughs> and it got me off the wrong way because yes, because sometimes you can af- be affected by what people say, but how you allow it to affect you and what you say thereafter is what shows people who you truly are. And how you're able to take up that situation. You're in a public office. You're a public servant. You should know that everything you do and say is a representation of the government that you... You work for. Yes. So when you're having that kind of back and forth, it's almost like Nigeria is having that kind of back and forth. And I know a lot of people will support it. But in a couple of years, I don't know what, why people don't think about what would happen when in a couple of years your information is punched into the internet and people things like this come up and pop up you know it's interesting because chinelo took this story about the india right yeah. yesterday that was your what's in the news yes. when he talked about and i said something to you yesterday i said see you think these guys are crazy they are not they see everything and because he's online mm-hmm. we we they carry our dirty linens and we put put them online they see how our nigerian government respond yeah. to things when things happen they mm-hmm. see how they the back and forth all of these things, they are seeing it. So tomorrow, if there's an issue, 
You understand? And the government is supposed to fix it. They can't fix it because uh, if their own government treats them anyhow, we too, we will we'll just continue suit, right? But let me hear your thoughts, Mary. Your initial thought when you saw this. Um, it's a case of she should have been a bigger person, as annoying as that sounds. But yes, she has more to lose than the person behind. Besides, she know she doesn't know who's behind that Twitter account. She holds a public office and she should be careful of what she tweets out there. By the time Obi had replied her, I think that was a little bit caution for her to, you know, just, just leave it, just let it be. It's annoying, but why would you go back and forth and be fighting now? It's not necessary. I don't think it's necessary. There's some things, like you said, silence is really the best answer. That's the mature response to this. You'll get to a point where it's even the followers that will be rooting for you to say, ah, Yusef, why would you call this woman a mumu? You know, you know the work that you've put in for the country. You know the work that you've put in for people in diaspora. So why do you need to come and be exchanging words with some nobody who, are you even show sure he's really in Indonesia? So, you know, you know, again, <laughs> you, <laughs> do you understand? Mm. You're not even sure that if he's, you know, you there. don't know who's behind the account. So, you know, the problem that I think Abike's uh, position, Dabri's position is, you know, already Nigerians in the diaspora feel very neglected. Mm -hmm. They've had series of issues. Mm -hmm. Is it from the Dubai matter that they couldn't get their passports or they couldn't get visas or they couldn't return home? Mm -hmm. They, so... Her seat is a hot seat, mm -hmm. right? It's a hot bed because a lot of Nigerians want to, by all means, go outside of the country. And most of them end up, like she rightly pointed out, most of them right, end up at the wrong side of the law. You know, is that they have illegal documentation, mm -hmm. so many issues. So she's already at a position where it only takes a high level of empathy and understanding. She does not have the liberty to burn out or to shout or to scream because... You are in a position where already people are frustrated, mm. you know. Yeah. So if somebody comes and calls you a mumu, right? I'll be, do you understand? All you need to do, you look at yourself in the mirror. See, I tell people that the three things I do not joke with, right? My mind, my life, my mirror. Why mirror is in that equation? Is because if you call me today and say, "Uwa, you are a dunce," I will look at myself in the mirror. Are what do you see? <laughs> Am I a dunce? I'm not a dunce. And I move on. And that's why it is very easy for me not to respond to trolls. So I don't understand that you have grown to that level mm -hmm. in, your, in your position, in your capacity. You already know that the position you occupy is quite heavy. A lot of Nigerians are out to get that woman. Honestly, let's even leave jokes aside. Let's leave that, okay, she's she outspoken, talks. she's this. Mm -hmm. Everybody, if there's any little thing that happens that is linked to diaspora, Abike Dabrini's name is all over the place, yeah, right? Yeah. She already knows. So I understand that she might just be overwhelmed mm -hmm. by the back and forth and backlash she's always getting. But that's why you are on that seat, that right? That is what, that is what your about. position. Yeah, you see, the thing is that you cannot pick the seat and leave the pain. Mm -hmm. You will collect both the pleasure and the pain that comes with the seat, you know? So how would you as a, as a, a government official, and like you rightly said, NJ, when she is responding, she's not responding as Abike Dabri, everyone. She's responding as the Nigerian representative. Mm -hmm. So what people are seeing, and that's why they will continue to tag it back to the failed government. And that is on one hand, the position she occupies. The fact that the Nigerian government, to the eye of the average Nigerian, the young Nigerian, they believe that this government has failed woefully. That is another battle she then she needs, needs to, to fight. fight. So that's why you shouldn't even put yourself in a position where you begin to go back and forth with these people. So I don't understand. Like, I mean, is it, is it just me? Or is something that people just... People have been called names. When Jesus Christ said in the Bible, I have to bring it now Please. to the Bible. When they slap you here, what do you do? He didn't tell you that you should return the slap. Do you understand? It, it was it was said for a specific reason yeah. right because provocation is never in uh, in shortage when it comes to provocation there will always be provocation and because the polity in the, the in the country the situation in the country is already heated so you should expect as the government official 
anywhere you are they will fish you out and they will lash at you you know so i'm tired of our government official always putting us in a bad light you know i get her pain and i'm trying to i'm not trying to be insensitive to the fact that she's actually under a lot of pressure but you see in that pressure you must be able to curtail, control yourself and curtail what it is that you type because it is your hand before you type and type and type and you go read them before you click post you go see read them do you understand so why would you leave it there and say you are not part of the people that will cower to whatever so now let me even bring it back to responses right i don't believe that if she sees a tweet she, she does not have the luxury to respond she can respond recently i've been going back and forth with someone on an email you know but i do the email respectfully you know how British man will tell you to go and die yeah. that you look yeah. for. Oh my place. God, you yeah. know. Do you understand? Yeah. So there is a, there is a, what's it called? There's an etiquette mm -hmm. yeah, to in it, typing messages. To it, to it. There is the wordings that you will you use. Know, that the that person will not even understand what you're coming. The person will actually be think. Do you understand? <laughs> user, uh, he will rethink and look at himself. Uh, than so there are, own level thank you, there are communi communication tools language. that people have looked at and said, you know what? There are right language to respond to trolls like that. Mm -hmm. So when she, di when she did that, what she just did, she brought herself to the mud and they are now fighting dirty like, like you know, pigs. pigs. <laughs> and now when, every, when somebody comes, they will not know who is the pig and who, mm -hmm. is the, who is the human being because both of them are all covered in mud, you know? So it's a way to respond to, to messages like that. But I, th I think for me, she just, you know, completely, she lost it for me. I think I expected a lot of self-control on her end. Because, like, we can all see for her position, there's a standard etiquette, there's a standard way of behaving. You can't, <laughs> you can't just say anything you want to say. Because, like I said, you represent a government, you represent mm. people. So, playing on the same level as, a, as someone who is... You don't even know who's behind the account. That's the thing. The account is not even... You know, a, a verified account. You know, it's, it's all these things that they say, Gwaz Bos, you give me to me, Gwaz, I give you Bos. That's what is happening. She's going to learn from this kid. Abi. This kid never responds to I don't Nobody. know how he does it. He doesn't respond to anything. There's like, nothing you want to say You just to have to him. learn how to have a, to thick grow a skin. thick skin for thick things skin. like that. If not, you react to everything. Absolutely. And once people know that you're a reactor, they will, they will keep, keep on, they will keep on <laughs> they will, yeah. poking Let's you. Let's take a break. I want to hear our audience on this matter. I want to be kept that brief fans. Please don't insult me, because me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you now, but we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and our honorable Abike Dabri is on the hot seat, right? We're discussing her reaction to throws on um, social media, trolls on social media. Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 4663. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. Now, our phone line is now open. The number to call is 070 2500 Remember the rules. Please turn off the volume of your television set. No insults, please. We will cut you off. Me, I know how to cut people off. <laughs> but how would you react to trolls on social media? Now, let's, let's bring it back to ourselves, right? Let's keep Abike Dabri um, away for a bit, right? How would you react to trolls online? And would you say that as a representative of the government, do you think it was right for her to air her mind just like that and, you know, call the guy... Um, and not there because she was called a mumu. I mean, not be so. <laughs> so let's hear your thoughts. The number to call again is zero seven zero two five zero zero seven seven four nine. All right. So I mean, I, I've had confrontations, right? People just you know want to attack and all of that. And you know, the reason I know that this can never be me. It's not because I've not lived it, right? I've had like physical confrontation, not even online. They did the online one. I ignored They not the physical one. And, you know, it, it didn't just stick because that's not me, right? I don't know how to go back and forth. I don't know how to. I'd rather just stay quiet, stay silent. I don't say anything, right? I suppose just come in and attacking. And so because now when I see people do these kind of things, it tells me the kind of person you are. 
right? And it's not so much of the person on the other side of the keyboard. That somebody says something and you respond like that. It means that there is an, also an element of what that person has on their inside that is also inside of you, right? But what are your thoughts? Would you respond? I think we have a caller. I, I, I'm a bit lost. We, are, we have a caller? Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good Thank evening, ladies. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Stephen. Who? From Omar. Yes. A big cat that being is a journalist. Okay. She was a staff of NTA. Um, having become a politician representing the government, uh, government, she should be able to absorb the shock. So, uh, as a trained journalist, what is expected so that she uh, should not react? She is one of the privileged journalists coming from NTU and today a politician. No, no amount of throwbacks or throw up whichever one that is given to her that she should not be able to accommodate. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's interesting. It says, um, and you know, that's also the pain that people have with Abike Dabri because they had so much hope you know, expectations, the work she did as a journalist. So it just, it just, so, and that's, that's the anger that she's not seeing. Yeah, yeah. She's just seeing trolls, but people actually, they're, they're bitter because they felt she betrayed, you know, the Nigerian people that so much believed in her when she was going into politics. And all of a sudden, because she was whining and dining with politicians, she became one of them, and all of a sudden, they could do no wrong in her eyes. These were the same people she had actually called out in the past yeah, and all of that. Yeah. I think, so that's why I'm saying that. When you see things like that, it is deeper. You can't just wake up and then now say you want to just be attacking and insulting. So, so I mean, there's, and that's why, you see, people will now say, okay, there's a bit of guilt. Because it means that they're telling you and it's hitting home, right? So, I mean, you should just plainly ignore. Or better still, yeah. Or you did your best. But let's take some comments. We have some comments. <laughs> Go ahead, Mary. I think we have a caller quickly, first of all, then. Mary, you take a comment. Um, Charles on Potako, thank you for calling. All right, good evening, Juan. Good evening, ladies. Hi, thank you for calling. Yeah, so, um, Abike Dabiri, well, that was very unfortunate, Charles. Such reaction from her, it's least expected. I mean, for somebody of her, of her statue. But I wasn't really surprised because I believe she has a temperament issue. Because I could recall there was a video that trended some time ago when she had an altercation with David Hundane, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. over one uh, Nigerian that died in Abidjan. Yeah. I think that day she didn't, I think she wasn't aware that that uh, radio station where she was having that interview was being recorded or so. Mm -hmm. So immediately David called. She was like trying to like tell the journal, the lady there that she put it up, put it up, put it up, and the lady refused and allowed David to continue speaking. So while the communication was going on, there was a very serious verbal altercation with David and her. So which I was really surprised, somebody of her tattoo to be having this kind of uh, uh, conversation. I mean, I was it was it was surprising to me the kind of people we have in authority, mm. and that is really very unfortunate when we have the kind of people in authority. What does this speak for our image outside this country? I mean, you could imagine a government official at that matter. Nigerians are really going through outside. I mean, Nigerians in Dallas are really going through a lot. And for her to be coming up, even when the minister of former minister of education tried to call her to order, she still went ahead. I mean, that was still that was really really very unfortunate coming from a government official. She's a, people in government are supposed to be serving us and not be looking at us as if maybe we are living at their beck and call. That's really very unfortunate. That's not, where, that's, 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 that's not the way, um, I mean, governance is being done in another part of the world. Thank you, ladies. Good evening. Thank you so much. Thank you you see so. that the matter is deeper than that, that we, we you know, so, and that's what she's failing to realize that it's not about you. 
right? So people have, she in particular, people have watched her political journey yeah, yeah. and how it seems like every single time, always, you know, you always want to defend annoying. something that you, we clearly can see that mm -hmm. maybe something is going wrong, but you still look at it and try to find. So that's where I think she's not seeing that picture. So when you see those kind of attack, it is not even, it's not advised that you will no, you just look away and just move quietly. But hey, I'm not her advisor. Um, <laughs> the internet never forgets. Never. Go ahead. Abika Dabri Nidkombo was a great journalist when she was working with NTA and a politician that was once a lawmaker. She just got a national award last week from President Buhari, Ode means Mumu, Wawa in Hausa. She was tempted and she fell into the trap so easily. Meanwhile, her party APC wants us to vote them again. Abike should retrieve that tweet, please. Bobby Kennedy, Jalingo, Taraba State. Thank you. <laughs> we have one more. My first time, actually. But first thing to understand is the best of a human is human. You can't keep throwing tantrums at people, feeling everyone has a chance to take it. She is in a position where she sees how frustrating it is to represent Nigerians in diaspora and still getting such a comment. She has been received more she has been received more of those trolls. She has received more of those trolls without responding responding. So there must be a frustrating factor in that speech. I know. No because she has as in her position, eh, that woman is I understand <laughs> it's a tough to position, but I, I mean, there's something called public relations skill. I, for you yeah. to hold that kind of position in the government in the first place, you need to possess very strong public relations skills. <laughs> and I think that's where she she's. I mean, I mean there's no human being that's perfect, but then she's lacking that seriously. She needs to. She really needs to learn that. Okay, uh, my comment here says the difference between you and the pig after a fight in the mud is that the pig enjoys, loves, and lives for death. Don't be a pig. Mm. Learn to deal with trolls. Will come with a lot of tact, self-discipline, and self-control. Own who you are, no matter the situation or circumstances that presents itself. Well done, ladies. You live the life. Well, this is from Norma. Hi, Norma. <laughs> <laughs> Chilelo, go ahead. Okay. Huh. Austin from Delta says, I be careful not fall on my hand. A diplomat of her standing shouldn't descend that low, even when another Amazon I admire for her brain and astuteness or be advised her, she shunned her haba. Please ask her if she gets to the river, kept her clothes, and is having a bath, can she run out naked to portray a madman who dashed away with her clothes? Hmm. <laughs> That's a deep question. That's really a deep question. That's I recommend. <laughs> Please recommend the import of this cartoon to her. Principle of common sense. How do you manage to be cool at the time? All the time. And then the other person responds saying, I don't get into agreement with stupid people. I just cut it short and say, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> is that then said, but that is completely yeah. irrational. I said, oh, oh you are, are right. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let me take youngest old man. You're alive. Ah, I have to go with you. Ah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Ah. Well, I, I come and send the chat card to you. Okay, we will. Ah. <laughs> so, ah, no, so. You see, my problem with that, the, the madam, she needs to understand that every appointment is political when it comes to presidency. And she's part of them. And with the way things are happening, it's only the few that are getting small, small alerts and recharge from them We smile over them. Mm. But for me, if I'm going to advise her, she should stop handling most of her social media accounts. Find one small boy will get way ahead the hot. They give one 20 or 25k every month. Wow. Make it the hand all those things for you. Before you go even reply, you go call show you my dad. Show things as they talk. Go move with give her, move with take her. By then you are calm. Some of these tweets can come to you when you are in a certain, when you are in a, a, a kind of pressure or you are trying to handle something or you they fry the do. The oil come up for your hand. As you they see the tweet, you go one call reply Ashley. So such things, I think people should go more professional. You, she's already big. She's getting the funds. She should learn how to do what we call division of labor. Mm. So this is what you get when you don't divide your labor. So for me, I should, I would just advise her outrightly, but she, she got it wrong. You right. understand? You are there to serve the people, and you just have to understand that some people they will, they would like to pour their frustration on you to tempt you. In fact, you don't even know who is the handler. Maybe it's your backdoor neighbor. 
that is busy there pumping those things to see yes. how far you are. You so people should be bigger than that and be more intelligent Absolutely. in this time. And uh, uh, I would have to speak on time and era, the era and time. Yes. Or that and that shall. So you. please, let uh, somebody show advice her. Get one small one boy like this. You know, the way all these our boys say the host for computer now, they will help you handle the situation. If I to sound more professional, and now your name go there before they shoot, they will ask you, you check in and out, make check the back of the everything and know if it's the exact person. Maybe that computer they will try that thing for you, so you know, no. So they should be coming down. That is all I need to say. Absolutely. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, I mean, Mary had said it that you don't even know who is behind that keypad. Like, you don't understand. I don't know how you respond to people. Really, I don't know how to respond, though. I've seen messages on my social media where they just say, Wakapa, I just move. Mm -hmm. I don't have that time, right? Someone says, um, I felt for her, but that's um, the imperfection of a human, right? Um, but this comment, what can you say that she has saved the lives of many good for nothing people? That's wrong. That you see, that's the thing. You're put, you're using fire to, to quench fire. It's not gonna work, right? You see, that's the, the, the point I'm trying to make with her is if you really wanted to solve this problem, right? Um first of all, I I don't say you should, you can't respond. You can respond. We can respond in a very decent way that the person will go and think of ways to respond back to you. Yeah. But let me take Austin from Delta, then I'll come back. Austin, you're live. Abi? Yeah, Austin of from Benin. Oh, Good from evening. Benin. Ah, oh yeah. Okay. Thank you for uh -huh. calling. Uh -huh. Okay, so um I'm just reading Yuli Dochi's uh, comment on uh, Twitter now. And he is saying that if someone calls your mother Mumu woman, you go clap for her, Mabi. Mm. Uh, so the thing is, uh, so if someone is uh, a government official, then everybody should be pouring his thought on uh, them. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense now. Uh? Let us not uh, criticize her so much. If possible, she was under some kind of pressure at that particular time. And uh, I don't even know, maybe this person is uh, one uh, person that is uh, very jealous, very jealous of our achievement and everything. <laughs> and then you, you, why would you even call a married woman a mother? Uh, a mumu? mumu woman. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make but sense. But Austin, now. let me ask you a question. And this is where yeah. we are coming from with this conversation. If somebody, if I called you a mumu now, how would you, how would it come off to you? My point is, if you are not, um, what's it called? You know clearly that you are not a mumu, right? Some things you can just ignore. You don't have to respond to every troll. That's my point. It's not like we're attacking her. We know, and, I, and that's why I try to establish how difficult her position is, right? That position, they have, she has gotten more backlash than any government official, right? So I'm saying, would so, would you, would, if you are called a mumu now, would you accept it? Or would you, or would you just look away? See, in the, in this society, let me let me tell you, what in this society, people get envious, get envious of one another. You know, and it's a very common thing in this society. But if someone who is just jealous of her achievement and what have you, you know, just wants to insult her, just like that. It's not, it's not, it's not good now. Okay. It's not good. All right. Thank uh, you. We, so we should not just uh, condemn her like that. We should. Thank you. Thank you. Then your people are. Oh, sugar. Okay. Sorry when, about that. You know? When we look at it now, I understand where he's coming from. But who has more to lose? Mm. Who has more to lose now? The person is just sitting there. Nobody even knows the person. Do you really understand? Person. But now your name is all over the place. And you know, everyone is. It would have. If it was a silent situation, in fact, it's the people who will be fighting for you. Do you understand? To say, and why would you call this kind of person a mumu? But now, people that, it's not as if we don't, we're not supporting her. We, we don't see that she's, you know, putting in an effort. But it's just all your efforts now goes to waste. Everybody, they won't look at any other thing. Because they won't look at any other thing. Yeah, except from that. Absolutely. Which is just really sad. Which is really sad. That's what we're saying. We're not attacking her. We're just because trying to say that some things just look away. 
Um, let me take a comment from Daniel Ilo. Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying, ways? Honorable Abike Dabri Erewa has fallen my hand. <laughs> and let me uh, and let me down badly. She's occupying a very big office in government, and there are things you should not say in public, no matter what. Mm -hmm. She overreacted. Sister Owa gave a very simple example using the mirror. She said that it is it is not what people say that matters right uh, say you are you are that matters but who you think you are and god thinks you are now honorable abike dabri should be careful with her utterances where uh where are my two beautiful ladies nicholas and isia fodile they will soon resume don't worry <laughs> and my no 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 they will soon resume they are actually on a very long training my name is daniel Ilo, your ways regular fan isi will be back and um, Jennifer is coming back finally to Lagos. All right, Loma from Abi, I believe. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Good evening, my sister. Good evening. Good Thank evening. you for calling. Good evening. Um, gee, I want to let up you. There was a time in the Bible, Jesus said, ask his disciple, who do men say I am? when you are occupying an important position try to know what people are saying about you any reaction any negative reaction can destroy the personality mm. see just look at uh, 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 an example one of the callers gave of the way abigail has really reacted in the place so sometimes not everything somebody says you just react when you are occupying an important position um, the one time you uh, 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 you call yourself to other, you will, because if you first to call yourself to other, because you occupy an important position, before you know it, you will destroy your personality. So I'm using this opportunity to tell Abigail that please let your position count for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are begging her. So we are just saying that Ma Honorable Abike Dabirewa. Right, we understand the pain that you're going through. Your position in Nigeria is one of the toughest because every little thing that we see that happens in anything that is linked to diaspora, okay. whether it concern her or you know, concern her, they will put her inside the matter. Said. So, I understand why she will get to that point where she's reactive, but at the same time, like Mary rightly said, those people behind the keypad they have nothing to lose. She's the one, it's her now, it's her name that's all over the place. Do I remember the handle exactly. of the person that, that said the thing? Nobody, I can't even remember who said the mumu. But let me take Richard, then we'll take our comment and we'll wrap up the conversation. Richard, you're live. Hello, who are you? Hi, Richard. Kwanabiu. Ah, Kwanabiu. So, no. Oh, okay, sharp, sharp. Eh? There's something that um, she just turned 60. That's one. And again, she just got a national award. That's two. Do you know people in public office they need crash courses on emotional intelligence? Thank you. One thing I just want to say here is that wisdom is not the sole preserve of the aged. Have a fantastic night, my ladies. Thank you so Thank much. You. What a way to wrap it up. No, very happy. Thank you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it is, it is really lacking mm -hmm. in our leadership, emotional yeah. intelligence. Yeah. I think this thing he said about crash course, we should go and call. Uh, Abiola Champ, he's the king of emotional intelligence. <laughs> Let him go and do crash courses for them in the um, in the public. Someone says she has made a big mistake, but honestly, she won't repeat it again. As Raphael, absolutely, I believe so because I think she didn't even expect how this was going to turn out. Yeah, because like you rightly said, it's her name that is everywhere, you know. But quickly, um, we have another caller. Oh my God, we have John. You're alive. Go ahead quickly. Johnson. I have like a minute. Today is Johnson. You're live. Johnson. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm Johnson. Johnson. Go, ahead. Go ahead, yeah. Yes. So I want to contribute to what you are saying. Yeah. Um okay, what I'm going to contribute is that people should not be judgmental about a weekend belief. Before because somebody is holding a public uh, position, people should not be abusing technology by just paramic. Uh, abusing people and passing this on to a grandmother. You should condemn the person that called a grandmother Mumu. So we should, we should, we should be very fair 
in our in our in our judgment. People people still hide all that technology and they abuse social media to abuse elderly people, irresponsible people, because it's holding a public something. So anybody concerned can just be abusing her, insulting her. No, we should we should be fair in our in our in, in our judgment. That's what I want to want to say. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much, Johnson. I like what you have said. And I want to also repeat it that they will always be trolls on social media, mm -hmm. right? The always. bigger person should take the high. You know, Michelle Obama said something, when they go low, you go high. Mm -hmm. And that is what you must understand as a public official, right? The kind of trolling that Donald Trump did to Michelle and mm -hmm. Obama, if they wanted to reply <laughs> the way Abike is right, they're not going to remember Donald Trump where I aggravate them more. Now, Michelle Obama, so that's the that's thing. That's Nobody that's will remember that's anybody else. But let's take our comment and we move. Okay, so... Um person says remember when Macron was slapped in public he was calm but the offender eventually got arrested it's unfortunate that people who are hurt always look for opportunities to hurt others that's where empathy understanding that is knowing that the other person doesn't know better and wisdom comes into view who are not everyone knows they are normal people are already tense and any little situation can trigger them what needs to be done is for people and in this case Madame Dabiri to learn emotional intelligence or for her PA to book an appointment with me. This is from Unoma. Unoma Efanga. <laughs> Are you trying to sell your market? <laughs> 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 market. <laughs> but thank you. I think we've had a fantastic The phone line is still buzzing. More than obvious, we've ended the matter. Please do not come and troll us. But you can follow us on social media. Don't troll us. So. Uh, thank you, Chinelo, NJ, and Mary. Follow us on Instagram, everywhere, social media, like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Abike Dabri Erewa, we really love you. And please, please, just rise above some of these things. Your position is actually tough. We understand. But you must not respond to people that, you know, are just out to, to crawl up your skin, right? So if you missed today's quote, here it is again. In this digital age, open dis discussions and freedom of speech right or freedom of expression are always welcome online but not when it is reckless irresponsible or harmful to others right so we acknowledge and recognize that there will always be reckless people your own is to just be the higher person we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m as we bring another great conversation we're discussing the flooding situation make sure to tune in david Houdini will be here stay with us are we we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> i said i stay with us Bye. <laughs>